5 p.m. Good to be here, yeah. I'm trying to make eye contact with you guys because I've been told I give off autistic vibes. Not majorly, just sort of dipping my toe into it, you know? Like, I went on a date with this girl, and at the end of the date, I asked her, what's your first impression of me? And she said, bubbly and mildly autistic. <laughs> Which is fucked up, because I'm not autistic. And I know that I'm not autistic, because when I was in first grade, my teacher made my parents test me for autism. Test came back, they're like, he's not autistic, but he's got fucking something, I don't know. Yeah, uh, my parents hate that joke because I'm not autistic, but in my defense, you gotta be acting pretty fucking autistic to get referred to autism testing, you know? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's all the microplastics in my system. I, I was reading an article that said 100% of men have microplastics in their testicles. 100% of men. Some people are concerned, not me. I'm excited. I can't wait for my kids to be 15% credit card. I think that's gonna be... Amazing. Well, I wanted to test it out, so I went to Ralph's, and I used the self-checkout, and when it came time to pay, I just put my balls on the scanner, and it worked. I am now banned from Ralph's. I cannot go back there. They don't want me. I, uh, it's good to be in Burbank. Uh, as, uh, as she mentioned, I'm, uh, I'm from San Francisco, but I actually I went to college in Orange County, and that's a bit of... Yeah, yeah. That's a bit of a culture shock. Uh, it's a bit of a culture shock because there's a lot of conservative flags in Orange County and we don't have conservative flags in the Bay Area, okay? We have three flags. We have like gay Ukraine, California, the three branches of government. That's it. That's all we have. So my neighbor, he had a Blue Lives Matter flag, but instead of a blue stripe, it was a red stripe. I didn't know what that meant. I had to Google it. Turns out it means pro-fire department. Who is anti-fire department, okay? Do they think liberals are just sitting there watching whole apartment complexes burn down going, yes, good, defund the fire department, AFAB. <laughs> you, you never know, you never know. I think the place with the most conservative flags was probably the Capitol on January 6th. That's probably it. Did you have a good January 6th, sir? Did you put out milk and cookies for Rudy Giuliani? If you didn't, he's gonna crawl through your chimney and steal your ballot, so you better be incredibly careful. January 6th was a weird moment in American political history. And I know it was a weird moment because imagine explaining it to somebody in 2005. Hey, just so you know, in 15 years, Donald Trump, host of The Apprentice, is gonna try to overthrow the government? What the fuck, that's insane. That's like if somebody from 2040 came back to now and was like, you guys gotta stop Ryan Seacrest, he's gonna nuke Mexico. <laughs> Jeff Probst just shot the vice president. We don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, there's an election coming up. If you didn't know, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but there is an election coming up. And my hot take is I don't think that everybody should vote, okay? If you think everybody should vote, you're an idiot, all right? Do you know who's included in everybody, okay? You've got, like, rapists and Nazis and Disney adults, like, all equally bad, all included in everybody, I have a friend who believes that gremlins are real because he saw a TikTok, okay? That man should not vote, all right? Like, voting's important, but not for him, you know? Like, when my smart friends tell me they're not gonna vote, I get very patriotic. I'm like, you guys gotta vote, it's your civic duty. When my gremlin friend tells me that he's going to vote, I'm like, you know, voting doesn't actually change all that much. You should take mushrooms and see Dune too. That's what you should do with your afternoon instead of going to the polls. I think before you vote, you should have to fill out a questionnaire and it just has one question, true or false, and it's ancient aliens brings up some good points. And if you put true, we set your ballot on fire. But we give you a Chili's gift card, so we make it entirely fair. I think that's the best way to do it. I think my favorite election fact is that when the country was first founded, the guy who came in second place got to become vice president, but if the president was assassinated, the vice president became the president? Like, who wrote our constitution, Mr. Beast? What the fuck is going on? Like, although, that being said, I would watch 18 seasons of Donald Trump and Joe Biden in the White House together, solving sitcom problems. That sounds 
amazing. Just like Joe's crying behind the Oval Office. He's like, I don't have a date for the State of the Union. And then Donald Trump shows up in a beautiful evening gown. Like, frankly, Joe, you're forgetting about somebody. Get CBS to produce, call it Two and a Half Presidents. Oh my God. <laughs> CBS is interested. They're also interested in my spinoff, Young Biden. It's about Joe in his 60s. I think it's going to do incredibly well. All right, thank you guys so much. I've been Jacob Ratner.